Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's Sunday preview. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. Sunday preview. The hive mind is coming to get you. Few things excite the mind quite as much as a new codex packed with possibilities for future of your favorite armies. And this week is even more momentous than most. The first codex of the new edition is hitting pre-orders alongside a heap of new Tyranid miniatures. There are brand new units, updates to old favorites, and more. So it's time for a quick look at this week's headline events. So there is a little video right here, but we're going to take a look at the full article. All right, so starting off with Warhammer 40,000, we have Codex Tyranids. All new additions need to start somewhere, and this time it's the honor of the Tyranids to begin our calendar of Codex releases with this 120-page Codex Tyranids. This is the definitive companion for all Tyranid players, replacing the Index with fully fleshed out collection of exciting detachment rules, glorious miniature showcases, and a fascinating lore. So very cool. We see the old art depicted right here. Definitely a cool piece of art. And then this is going to be the special edition cover, no doubt. Uh, very, very cool as well. And we just see a little feature right here about the high fleets. Talking a little more about the lore, little showcase. Uh, pretty cool. I am curious to see exactly how many like detachment rules we're going to have or detachment options. I'd like to see somewhere between like three or so for every army. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome. So you basically have three different detachment rules you can choose from depending on how you want to build your force. And I think that will give people enough options, but it won't be ridiculous to balance. So let's hope it's something along those lines. There are data sheets for 47 Tyranid units, six full detachments with unique abilities. Okay, so six detachments. That is absolutely awesome. Rules, enhancements, and stratagems, and all new Crusade content. To really show off your supplication to the Swarm, a luxury special edition version of the Codex will be also available, featuring entirely unique cover art, silver foil details, and fetching purple gilt page edges. So very cool. We got some nice answers there. Knowing that there's going to be six detachments, assuming that's going to be for every army, is absolutely awesome. Because right now, some armies have a terrible detachment rule. It's not crazy to think that that was just the initial detachment rule, but one of those other six is going to be awesome. So if right now you feel like your faction is just not good or just not competitive and your detachment rule isn't good, there's definitely hope out there. But the hope is probably going to come strung out over the next couple years, depending on when your codex is released. All right, so here is the first of our new models. So we've seen all these already. This is the Norn Emissary. This is a dual kit. The hive mind is usually content to direct its swarms from afar. But when a more personal touch is needed, the Norn Emissary is deployed to act as its eyes, ears, and claws on the battlefield. These towering monstrosities are spawned for a single specific purpose and pack epic levels of speed, strength, and raw psionic power into a single deadly package. So very cool model. Definitely excited to see the rules on this. And I also love that it's a dual kit. All right, and here is the other half of the kit, the Norn Assimilator. And by dual kit, I just mean you can build either one of these two models from the same box set. Should you pray prove to be more slippery than expected, assemble the kit as a Norn Assimilator and drag their cowardly hides into the dirt with razor sharp tox injector harpoons. This variant trades psychic powers for all out damage. So we have one giant psychic monstrosity and then we have just one all out physical damage. And next we have the Death Leaper. So this is a unique character version of a Lictor. The hive mind knows the value of covert assassinations when softening up planets for its incoming swarm. When failure is absolutely not an option, the specialized bioform known as Death Leaper is deployed to sow fear and chaos behind enemy lines, using the accumulated experience of a thousand spawnings to plunge its targets into pure terror before hacking them apart. So very cool, and I just absolutely love the lore here. Uh, they talk about a thousand spawnings. So this basically like unique version of the creature is spawned over and over again where needed uh, to basically like terrorize planets and achieve the Tyranid hive mind goals. Very, very cool. Beautiful model. Absolutely love it. I know there's a little controversy about the flesh cape. Love it or hate it. It's still an awesome model. And next we have the regular Lictor. When panic and sabotage need to be sown on a wider scale, Lictors are the hive mind's weapon of choice. They are agile and stealthy creatures and slip through the defensive lines to slaughter valuable targets. So again, really cool. Uh, we know that there are probably two in a box, but there's definitely two variants to build this. Uh, so I'm assuming that's how it will come. And next we have the Neurolictor. Neurolictors are a new subspecies of Lictor only starting to appear across the galaxy. This bioform trades raw close combat prowess for insidious mental abilities and projects a psychic miasma that overcomes the enemies and shatters their discipline. So very cool, new model, new rules, absolutely awesome. 
And next we have the Gene Stealers. So finally respawning in a group of 10. So previously these were offered in eights, which was kind of awkward. Uh, now they're going to be coming in 10 to a kit. New sculpts, absolutely beautiful. Blow the old stuff away. The old Gene Stealers were cool. These are absolutely amazing. For as long as there has been Warhammer 40,000, there have been Gene Stealers. The original Tyranid Bioform gets as much deserved makeover with a new kit that reimagines the iconic look in glorious high detail. This time around, you get a full complement of Yugmarl Gene Stealer heads if the face tentacle vibe is more your speed. So these are the Yugmarl heads, uh, just a different kind of Gene Stealer. At some points in time, they've had different rules. They've always had kind of like their own lore. We'll have to see how like the implant attack, the Yugmarl heads and all that stuff, if they actually affect the rules in this edition or if they're just cool. And next we have the Termagants. So we have seen a ton of new Termagants getting uh, put out in all of the new box sets. From leviathan to the starter sets and now we have the individual kit it is worth noting this is going to be a kit of 10 with your little rippers as well but we see all of the different gun options now the multidious foot soldiers of the tyranid swarm get some love as the revitalized termagants first seen in the leviathan box set get a bonus through of special weapons the box also includes a single ripper swarm Okay, so that's cool to know it's actually the same models but it's a bonus upgrade sprue with all the special weapons in it and next we have the Hormigants. The Hormigants have been refreshed with incredible new sculpts. Few opponents can stand up to the seemingly endless tide of chittering teeth and claws. And as an added bonus, you get a single Ripper Swarm in each box to form into an even smaller, meaner unit. Uh, so again, we see one Ripper Swarm, and then we see 10 of the new Hormigants. And these are great. They've been upgraded to the larger bases, so they're on like the 28 bases instead of the 25s. They have the single peg now. So they're not going to break off nearly as easy as the old ones did. And because they're on the larger base and also they've been redesigned, it looks like it's not going to be nearly as much of an issue with them falling over. Uh, anybody that has been rocking out the old Tyranid models for decades knows that uh, most of these have a coin glued to the bottom of them so they don't fall over. All right. And then next we have the Biovore. And again, this one is going to be a dual kit. We have the Biovore and then we have the Pyrovore as well. Uh, so we'll see the two options. So we see some new spore mines. Very cool. Absolutely love the new look of the Biovore. The old ones were terrible. This is far, far superior. And of course, in plastic as well. And then here we see the actual Pyrovore. So again, very, very cool. Dual kit. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. The Biovore has a new spring in its step and it's ready to launch spore mines all over your next battlefield. These indirect fire platforms have long been the hive mines answer to distant foes. And you can also build them as a flame spewing pyrovores to turn long range shooting into close quarters dominance. And next we see Combat Patrol Tyranids. So I was a little unsure exactly how this was going to work out. I assumed that they were going to individually box the Space Marines and then also the Tyranid Combat Patrols, but I hope that they're going to be priced differently. It's not so much that this isn't a nice box set and it's not a ton of awesome models, and in this case, all brand new models. So if they did price it at $160, it wouldn't surprise me. But if we just flip over really quick to Games Workshop's web store, the ultimate starter set is literally that exact box set of the Tyranids and then also the Space Marines box set as well. And then it includes all of the terrain also. So you get $80 worth of terrain, you get a starter rule book, you get the Tyranids, and you get the Space Marines Combat Patrol as well. And you get it for 50 bucks more. If that's going to be priced at 160 you should always just pick this up and unload the extra stuff or just grind and build it. But just wanted to point that out because that is definitely going to be something that's going to make this not as good of a deal. If there's something else you can buy for 50 bucks and get a ton more, it's always worth just buying that extra stuff, paying the 50 bucks, and having a ton more stuff out of it. Start your new army with the Combat Patrol Tyranids, a curated collection of units that give you a solid foundation for larger, greater swarms. They're also an excellent choice for picking up games of Combat Patrol, leveraging the speed and skill of Winged Tyranid Prime to pick off critical enemy units while 20 Termagants, 5 Barbgunts, and 3 Von Ryan's Leapers and a massive Psychophage advance across the battlefield. You also get 2 Ripper Swarms because you can never have too many Ripper Swarms. So again, if this is priced at 160 also consider just picking up Leviathan if you haven't picked that up yet. I see copies of Leviathan on sale regularly between like 185 to like 200 so again, if this is going to cost 160 it's definitely worth just picking up Leviathan and getting like two big armies for a couple bucks more. 
Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. All right, and then we have the new data sheets. So, new data cards for Tyranids. So, the old ones just came out. And now, here we are with the new ones. And that was definitely the danger with Tyranids and Space Marines. Just full on knowing that the cards are going to be useless after what amounted to a couple months. This pack of new and updated data sheet cards complements Codex Tyranids with all of your detachment rules occupying just a single double page spread. These cards speed up your games with useful unit information at hand without needing to leaf through the Codex. These cards supersede the index cards available online. So I really do think that these are great. I love the data sheet cards and I love that they're bringing these out. And now that we have like the full version coming out, I'll probably be picking these up for all of my main factions. I was very, very hesitant to pick them up initially, just knowing that there was going to be a lot of like rules changes, erratas, points adjustments, etc. And just not knowing what was going to change and everything. I'd rather at least give it a try with the actual data sheets versus the index data sheets. Because I know now once these come out, sure, there's going to be changes over time. But these are basically going to be the data sheets for the next three years. All right, and next we got the Tyranids dice set. The fourth Tyrannic War began with the High Fleet Leviathan, and now you can celebrate their commitment to eating everything in sight with a pack of 16 Leviathan-themed dice. Cast in swirly purple plastic and sporting their pips and the Tyranid Faction logo in white ink. So, very disappointed that Games Workshop has dropped down from the 20 dice to 16. Definitely a cheapo move, full-on shrinkflation. I do love the purple swirls. They look great. I would prefer the rounded edges, though. I've been kind of back and forth between the sharp edges and the rounded edges, and I think when it's all said and done, I've finally settled on the round edges are better. Let me know what you think, though. I'm always curious to hear your opinions. The round edges get cocked a little bit more often, but if you're using a dice tray or something like that, it's not an issue. And I feel like they roll a little bit more smooth. All right, and then we've got from the Warhammer Horse Heresy, the Arvis Lighter. So we already talked about this bad boy a little bit lately, and it is coming back in resin instead of plastic. So very, very unfortunate to see Games Workshop bringing back the Arvis Lighter in resin when they could have sold a ton of them in plastic. I personally would have bought one, but not going to happen in resin. All right, and next we have the Word Bearers Trilogy by Anthony Reynolds. Follows the arch trader space marines as they navigate the 41st millennia in search of ever greater power, using every means at their disposal, even the really, really gnarly ones. To celebrate this groundbreaking trilogy, all three books, Dark Apostle, Dark Disciple, and Dark Creed, are now collected in one beautifully presented special edition box set. Bound in a maroon cloth cover with foil details, they are held in a classically decorated sleeve. But with only 1,000 signed and numbered copies available, you'll need to secure yours fast. So I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that absolutely love the Word Bearers. They've never really been the most popular faction, uh, but for those few people that do love them, I'm sure this is going to be an awesome pickup. So very, very cool. Lots of exciting stuff coming this week. Definitely lots of Tyranids. I do expect a lot of the reveals here coming up on Wednesday from Nova to be for Warhammer 40,000 and the new Space Marine stuff coming out. Really excited to see what that is. I may drop a speculation video ahead of time if I have a chance, but super exciting. We've got stuff coming for 40k, for Sigmar, for Horus Heresy, for the Old World, Warcry, Underworlds, and Blood Bowl. So tons and tons of reveals. Super exciting. Let me know what you're most excited about for the preview. And then also for the new Tyranid range coming out. I'm going to be picking up some of the new Tyranid beasts. Definitely excited to have those. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check them out to save 15% on your Games Workshop needs. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And I can't wait to see what Nova's got coming. And I'm out of here.